Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, I Goddess. Welcome or welcome back to my corner where I inspire others to dream more, live more, and become more. So I'm in a different environment right now. As y'all can see, I'm actually at my little sister's house and we are in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And we just literally came for like a quick getaway. We got here yesterday. I'm currently trying to take the last three of my nails off because I would rather just not have any nails than walk around with these looking crazy. As soon as I'm done with this, I gotta hurry up because I literally take forever to get ready. <laughs> and we are about to go on a whiskey tour. So I'm super excited. I've never been on any type of like wine tasting or like alcohol tour before which is funny because we live in Kentucky and they're known for their bourbon. I didn't really get to vlog a whole lot yesterday. Uh, by the time we got here it was close to five in the um, in the evening so we just went to eat dinner and that was really nice. We went to like an Italian restaurant which is they had like let me see what did I get? I got like chicken parmesan with spaghetti. Today like we're, we're really just chilling. We had breakfast this morning. It's just been like a cute you know sister trip so to speak. Y'all, my lashes are on a complete gangsta lane because we was rushing so bad. Just finished the whiskey tour. It was bomb. I'm feeling great. Be so close, but still so out of reach. Saying you would be done to a screen. But now you Yes, this is my immediate younger sister. And then this is my sister after her. And that's Nick, the mother goat. Our brother from another mother, period. Everybody, yes. I hope y'all having a good day. Remember to breathe in and breathe back out. Yes. Everything will be okay. trying to hide the fact that I ain't you. Used to be my room as I am blue. Always turning up the brightness. You said you want to see me shine even in the night. Guess it was a lie. Cause I call you in a straight to sorry. I can't make it all my favorite memories. I've been erased the gallery of pictures. I'm like watching That's going to be yours. That's going to be yours. That one too. You, I appreciate it. I don't know what it is in life you've been through, but you can't be like you are and carry what you carry if you haven't gone through something. And I appreciate whatever it is you've gone through. Wow, thank you so much. Don't make me cry because I'm a fucking cry baby. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, y'all. So it's been a few days. <laughs> I have not picked my camera up in some days, but of course, y'all can't even tell because it's a vlog. Home now. It's been a few days, like I said. So I am about to eat some dinner, and this is oh, okay, perfect shot, perfect. Yeah, she's fine, baby. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> so basically, y'all, this right here is so freaking good. So let me tell y'all what I did. And to be honest, I didn't even use a particular recipe. I literally like made it up. I used some inspiration from another meal that I've had that's been kind of similar. It is quinoa, chickpea, 
red onion, cilantro, and red bell pepper. And it is really good. Oh, also I squeezed some lemon and olive oil. So what you do is basically you make your quinoa first, like, you know, cook your quinoa all the way through, take a can of chickpeas, rinse them off real good, take the little shells off if you want to, I usually do. Then yeah, pretty much um, once your quinoa is done, everything else is really just like chopping and, and you know, putting it all together in a bowl and tossing it around, it's really good. So I'm eating that with some blackened salmon that I made in the air fryer. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all. Oh crap. Baby. What you doing? Can you bring me some ice, please? Mm hmm Thank you, babe. Okay. If you like cilantro, you will really like this. If you like quinoa, you will really like this. Also, you can eat it chilled. You can probably warm it up. I just choose not to because of the cilantro and I feel like warm cilantro just tastes kind of weird. But this is really good. Like, y'all have to try this recipe. Very simple, very easy, filling, healthy. Um, yeah, all that. And then my drink of choice is a peach bubbly. If you do not know about bubbly, she's that girl, for real. Is that not so satisfying? Ooh, do not mind my nails. It's me having my raggedy nails all in the camera for me. Girl, you know better. I've low key been doing like a reset. Not a hard reset though, but I literally bought a ton of fruits the other day. Like I bought mangoes, red grapes, green grapes. I bought strawberries, cantaloupe, and everything. And I like chopped everything up and made like a fruit salad. And so just this week in general, with me cooking like these really light meals, I'm really trying to like reset my body a little bit because since graduation, y'all, I don't know what the hell been going on with me, but I have just been eating like a pig. And I'm like, no. No matter how much I try to go away from eating healthy, my body just never agrees. Like it never freaking agrees. It always tells me like, girl, this food is too heavy. Like stop going. Like y'all, I was legit legitimately going to get fast food like every single day. It's been a minute that I've had a habit that bad before. So I don't know, honestly. I feel like I just got caught up in like the busyness of, you know, graduation and like all that stuff. And I just basically got comfortable. So I ordered all of my groceries this week. It feels good because I just, I haven't been bloated all week. I haven't been like sluggish. I've had a lot of energy, especially since I've been walking Maverick more. What I've learned about myself is that I'm an emotional eater. And so whenever it's been a long day, when I've been stressed or if I'm sad about something, or if my period is on. I try to use that as an excuse to like eat whatever I want to eat. And I feel like that's like one of the worst habits that you can have because no day, no days are ever going to be 100% perfect. Like you're not going to always have a good day. So you have to come up with a better alternative than just saying, well, I deserve it. I had a shitty day. Like, yeah, but that don't mean do that every time. Because what if you have three crappy days in a week? All right, y'all. So obviously you guys didn't notice, but I had to let my camera charge because my freaking battery died, which leads me to... The next part of this video before I close out the vlog, I want to show you guys two new pieces of like content equipment that I got. Content creation equipment, if you will. So I ordered two things from Amazon the other day. So this is the first thing that I got. It is an external microphone because I noticed in my last chit chat that my, my audio was like just off. Like I wasn't really feeling it. I kind of noticed that it was like a slight, you know, echo. So I looked up a video for like an external mic because my G7X does not have like a little mic input like thing or whatever. So it says small yet powerful max noise reduction. Let me go ahead and open it all the way. Y'all, the best thing about this mic is that it was really affordable. I think I only paid like $30 for this. It was either 30 or like 35 or something like that. So it looks like this. And I'm gonna have to actually watch a video again to figure out how to put this together, but comes with these little things. So it has these two cords. Then it also has these two things. Um, and I see some little things that look like they could be screws. And then it also comes with this cute little bag. So this is cute. I guess this is what you can um, carry your microphone stuff in because there's not a lot of pieces to it and then here is the little fur ball piece that I was telling y'all about I feel so official like but yeah I'm excited to use this and I really hope that it make a difference because I'm over like that echoey sounding like background whenever I'm trying to film my chit chat and then the other thing that I got you guys and this is the brand y'all should already know who put me on at this point my good sis bianca aka dr my curl so basically these are this is a charger let me take it out all the way so this is the um 
charger to the batteries. So I got I got batteries. I didn't even say that at first. But I got two new camera batteries. Um, and they're not by Canon. But Bianca said that she swears by them. So I'm going to trust that they're compatible. So. Uh, hey. What? Kilo day? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. I've ever got a red rocket. <laughs> Oh, Maverick. <laughs> Y'all, Mav got a red rocket. I'm so weak. Sorry. Okay, baby. Get out of here, red rocket head. Get out of here. Tell the camera that you got a red rocket. <laughs> you embarrassed? Anyway, y'all, so the next thing that I got, I finally got everything out of the packaging, but I got two new batteries, and I'm so happy that these came. These are new um, camera batteries, and I'm very excited because, y'all, <laughs> When I say my freaking camera battery is always dying, that's one thing that I do not like about the G7X. Like, the battery life freaking sucks. Like, after about an hour, you can expect for your thing to start, like, blinking red or whatever. It's by the brand First Power, and it comes with a charger and two batteries. So, like I said, BB said that she literally swears by this, you know, brand or whatever. So, I just hope that they are good to go. So, there's no actual little plug. It's just this little... These two little inserts right here and then you just take the charger and you stick it in like that and then I'm gonna put the other, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other end in my computer to charge this up but yeah so those are the two things that I got y'all and I'm so excited because like I said just little things like that honestly as a content creator so 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 important like you want to give your audience the best experience and so little things like that like a nice little mic or um, making sure that you have enough batteries all that stuff is really important like when it comes to being consistent and like actually sticking to your goal of you know pushing out your content consistently during the week consider you know investing in like little small things that you can do to like upgrade your contents like audio or the camera quality but it is 11 32 i'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here and yeah if you enjoyed it of course like i always say give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see y'all in the next upload